Hi, I'm Marty Staggs from TurboSmart USA. And today we're gonna to install our new blow-off valve kit on this 2017 Ford F-150. This new valve fits all EcoBoost F-150s in 2.7 and 3.5 liter models, including the new Raptor. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to remove the engine cover. Okay, so the next item we're gonna address is we're gonna remove this EVAP circuit here, remove this clip and pop it off of its nipple right behind the throttle body. Now we've gotta remove the hose from its little harness here. And next, take a very nice sharp blade and cut back the plastic off of the barb. Be careful not to go too far and damage the hose barb. It shouldn't take much, but literally just like that and pull this line off. Please save this line in case you ever need to put the vehicle back to stock. Now we've got the truck up in the air, we'll remove the lower intercooler support bracing. Now we're going to remove the driver's side charge pipe by popping this clip out of its recess. Now we remove the recirc tube by turning the clip counterclockwise and popping it off its barb. Undo the hose clamps and remove the passenger side charge pipes from the intercooler. The bottom one's fairly easy, the top one can be a bit of a pain. Except when Johnny's around, <laughs> Johnny has it handled. Now we've dropped the intercooler down a little bit so we can get the electrical connection to the solenoid bypass valve. After we've disconnected the factory bypass valve, there's two more clips holding the harness up on top that need to be popped off. Now that we've got everything disconnected, we'll drop our intercooler down, and you can see where the wire harness was clipped here and here on the front side. We'll take this over to the workbench where we can remove our factory bypass valve and install our new TurboSmart Smart Port Blow Off Valve. All right, now we take an eight millimeter socket and we undo the single hold down tab for the bypass valve canister. Now literally, all you have to do is turn this counterclockwise to unscrew it from the intercooler. So now we're gonna pre-install the hold down bracket onto our 90 degree adapter. We'll leave this loose and tighten it up after we get it installed on the intercooler. Now we install our blow-off valve O-ring in the V-band flange and pre-install the V-band clamp. Now we're going to install our blow-off valve assembly in the opposite manner of which we took the factory one off. Now he's got it locked down. Johnny's going to Johnny's going to bolt the bracket down to the intercooler. This bracket's just extra insurance for those guys that are off-roading, just to make sure that you don't have a blow-off valve that may come loose for whatever reason. Now we'll tighten down the other bolt on our bracket. Now we want to orient our blow-off valve so the discharge side is pointing slightly downward to avoid any dirt, debris from piling up in the trumpet. Now we'll tighten up our V-band clamp. And that's it. The blow-off valve is now installed on the intercooler. Again, the assembly is the same for the 2.7 and 3.5. Okay, so to prepare our boost reference adapter for installation on the engine, take a little bit of thread sealant Apply that to one of the hose barbs. Get that guy started. Snug that guy down. The other one. And I want to put this guy over there, about like so. Now you'll notice there's a third port available. This third port is for additional accessories that you may want to install on your truck. It makes an excellent boost reference source for a boost gauge or a methanol injection controller or anything else you can dream up. For this installation, we're not going to use that port, so I'll use the included blank off plug. So now I'm going to take my reinforced hose, a worm gear clamp, and pre-install it on this barb right here. The length of hose included 
should be about four inches too long for your application, so just cut it to length. Some applications, if you want to run it in a little different direction, we made sure that we had a little extra for you. Next, I'm going to take my vacuum hose, one of our included spring clamps, slide that guy right over there, install it on the opposite barb. Take your pliers, move the spring clamp, clamp over here, and tighten this with a screwdriver once you get it on the engine. Please remember that this very important spring clamp is included in that package and very easy to drop or lose. This is a critical component which actually goes onto the boost reference adapter, allowing it to stay onto the manifold. Now we've already pre-assembled our boost reference adapter and silicone hoses. Slide the boost reference adapter back over the same area where you disconnected the EVAP system and pay particular attention to install your retaining clip. The next step is to connect your reinforced hose back to the EVAP system's check valve, like so. Note that it's a very tight fit. There is no clamp or anything required. The barb fitting on the check valve will maintain the condition of the hose. Now we'll take our silicone vacuum hose and drop it down in front of the engine to the area where we're going to install our blow off valve on the intercooler. Now that we've got our charge pipes reconnected, we're getting our intercooler back up in its spot and then reinstall the intercooler support bracket. And now we'll install our billet recirculation hose plug using the factory clip. This will keep debris or anything else getting into your intake track. Now we're gonna take our included spring clamp, slide it over the vacuum hose, and set it onto the blow off valve. Like so. Now take your pliers and slide it down over the barb, and now the hose is securely connected. Notice the orientation of the valve is slightly pointed downward and up against the charge pipe. So now peel back some of the wire wrap so you can access both wires for the plug. Now take your CEL eliminator and slide the clamps over each wire like so. Clip it down and use some pliers to make sure that it gets a good connection. Now we'll clip onto the second wire. Now she's good. Take some black tape wrap up your OE electrical plug and tuck your wire harness up out of the way just so that it doesn't get snagged or damaged while off-roading. Now that our new SmartPort blow-off valve is installed, start the vehicle and check for any leaks. Now that we know everything's good, we'll get the engine cover put back in start it up and take it for a test drive and see how it sounds. I hope this video of the smart port installation on the F-150 was useful to you. If you need any more help or questions, please contact us at support at turbosmartusa.com or check us out on our website turbosmart.com.